Hi, it's Pam, and today I'm sharing more of my favorite YouTube gaming channels that are headed up by women. A while back, I shouted out nine great gaming channels that were run by women, and there are just so many more, so I had to make a part two. In doing this, I hope to give the viewers some new channels to enjoy, as well as give these ladies some much-deserved extra attention. The channels I'm focusing on are all relatively small, currently under 100,000 subscribers, but they run the gamut from everything from documentaries, to reviews, to hardware repair, to video essays, and they cover systems from the Odyssey to the Switch. Bob Dunga has some of the most creative ideas for videos about gaming and 90s pop culture. On her channel, you'll probably find a number of videos on things you've never seen covered before. Even in video games, we seem to have safe places to curl up to. Sure, the game may be a challenge, but why not make your place of rest and leisure as enjoyable, safe, and comfortable as possible? And do you know what else in games acts as a comforting spot to lay down your weapons besides a literal bed to retire to? A hub world. She's addressed everything from the video games that used to come on DVDs or in cereal boxes, to games based on toys like Bratz and Barbie, and even the Lara Croft nude raider scandal. One of my favorites of her videos isn't about video games at all, but instead a video essay about the movie Robocop and how art imitates life. Bob Dunga has a ton of energy, both in her on-camera presentation and her editing. Her little inserts and asides always make me chuckle. She's genuinely excited to share some of the more obscure parts of gaming history with her audience. If you're looking for more retro gaming focused channels, particularly if you're a fan of the 8-bit era, check out Hungry Gorilla. She's a retro game collector who collects to play, and her YouTube channel documents the way through her collection. One of my favorite games is Fax Xanadu for NES, so anything that emulates that formula even slightly is going to rank pretty high in my books, and Popful Mail falls nicely into that category. She does reviews and playthroughs of a lot of NES and Sega Master System titles, but touches on other systems as well. I first discovered her through her great playthrough of Popful Mail. Interesting series like Manual Gaming explores the codependency between retro games and their reference materials. Video game science is also a subject of interest, and her video about the bad science of Dr. Mario is one of my personal favorites. Hungry Gurria's commentary is insightful, and her delivery is calm and very pleasant. Moving into the current era, Sam Greer does great analyses of modern classics. Mind Eco? What to love about that game? But one thing I think fondly of is the two characters holding hands. A small, tactile thing, but very human. Of course, it's a wee dude leading a helpless woman by the hand, so eh. But now, a play tale is here to let a capable big sister lead her wee brother by the hand. Sam is a critic and journalist, with articles published at places like PC Gamer and The Guardian. On her own channel, she does concise and insightful reviews of newer, somewhat under-the-radar games that I personally loved. She's covered games like A Plague Tale, Sunless Sea, and Mutant Year Zero. She has an ongoing series called Subtext Adventure, which looks at the world and stories from The Witcher 3. The Witcher is often praised for its storytelling, and she takes an in-depth look at its characters and quests to find out what makes it so good. Sam has a wonderful ability to get to the heart of what makes any particular game special and worth talking about. Miss Mad Lemon has a passion for vintage hardware, and her videos are immensely calming. Hardware isn't usually a topic of interest for me. But the way she makes her videos, showing close-ups of her soldering and tinkering with components as she drinks tea and chats softly with viewers, makes for some wonderfully relaxing content. Hello and welcome. Now, we have an interesting specimen here. It's a bit filthy, but um, yeah. I came across this when I was actually looking for Jetpack for the ZX Spectrum. Now, I managed to get the game. Uh, this is getting expensive for some stupid reason. You know, no idea. I mean, it's a classic for 
spectrum i do love the game itself she has a love for the Commodore Amiga and vintage audio and makes great videos showing how she repairs and restores these systems. She's currently working on a project to build a SID boombox, and though her knowledge of electronics goes way over my head, I so appreciate how much fun she has with all of her projects. If you're looking for a video host with a real love for the subject matter she covers, check out Miss Mad Lemon. If you're interested in in-depth documentary-style videos on retro classics, Kim Justice has you covered. I've learned a lot about systems I previously knew little about from her channel, as she's a big fan of the ZX Spectrum and the Commodore Amiga. She's done documentaries on all kinds of things, from the No One Lives Forever games, to developers like Psygnosis, and a history of how IBM won the computer wars. Sid Meier's Civilization is indisputably a masterpiece, and it's one of my favourite games, one that, like many others, I've spent ages on, curtailing all other activities in favour of just one more turn. It's the best, and I've had the urge to do something on Sid for ages now. A while back she made one single video covering her top 100 games of all time, and I enjoyed all 90 minutes of it, and added more than a few of the games on it to my own backlog. There are also hundreds of game reviews to peruse, so you should surely be able to find something that interests you on Kim's channel. Kinzilla loves video games and beer, and talks about both with gusto. Hey guys, Kinzie here, and I am very excited about this video because I'll be reviewing a beer that went to space! It went to space! That's amazing! <laughs> and. Well, the yeast went to space. I'll get into that. You'll find a little bit of everything on her channel. Lists like best games of the year or best Disney games, unboxings of collector's editions and press packages from conventions, and vlogs about the best places to find games or drink beer in Japan. Whatever the topic is, her videos are always upbeat and fun. She's a joy to watch, and I love the pairing of games with potent potables. Watching Kinsey's videos always brightens my day, and if you like video games and beer and are looking for a little pick-me-up, you should check her out. Erin Plays loves retro games and invites you to come along as she plays them. She does a great job of combining footage and reactions as she plays through a game live with good editing and adding extra commentary about the game. Well, I have never had one until now, and I want to put it to the ultimate test. Let's try to beat all the bosses in Castlevania with the Power Glove. She's a huge fan of the Castlevania series, so you'll see a lot of those games covered. But she also has a soft spot for obscure consoles like the Vectrex, and games based on fast food franchises or 90s girl bands. In one of my favorite of her videos, she tackles the bosses from Castlevania 1 using the Power Glove, and I was impressed at how well she did. I would have thrown the thing out a window. Check out Erin's channel for a fresh look at some old games. Another great creator who focuses on modern games and the characters within them is Kathleen MMS. People have ways of comforting themselves when they feel afraid. Sometimes that involves closing their eyes, digging their fingernails into the chair, and waiting for the terrifying moment to pass, pass. But if horror entertainment can force us to look, it makes the moment all the more terrifying. Kathleen posts playthroughs of the game she's currently working on, like Witcher 3 or Red Dead Redemption. But what I really like are her critical analysis and video essays. She does studies of characters she loves, like Ciri from The Witcher, Max from Life is Strange, and Ellie from The Last of Us. A couple of my favorite videos from her are analyses of the theme of fatherhood in games and a look at how horror games make us feel vulnerable. She's also a big fan of Mass Effect, which I really appreciate. No matter what the video topic, Kathleen always has some interesting insights. If you have an interest in Japanese games, check out Zuvi Nyan Gaming. She makes videos on a little bit of everything recent gaming news, looks at hardware and peripherals, and reviews. Hello YouTube! Today I'm back with the Japan-only game series, 
and we will be taking a look at Super Famicom or Super Nintendo games that were never released outside of Japan. She also does vlogs about things like what she does and doesn't like about modern gaming and what it was like to live in Japan in the 90s. She has a really useful series on Japan only releases of games for retro consoles that you can play without knowing any Japanese. These are a great resource to find games you may not have played or even heard of, and so far she's covered systems like the Super Famicom, Game Gear, and PS2. If you want to see the best Vampire the Masquerade video game content around, you need to watch Outstar. She's done very entertaining playthroughs of both Redemption and Bloodlines, and has made a number of great videos analyzing and speculating about what we know so far about Bloodlines 2. So for those of you guys who don't know, I was invited to the very special tender event by Paradox in San Francisco, and uh, I went there with big, big expectations. She works in the game industry, including a stint at CD Projekt Red, so she has a lot of insight to offer about the game development process and the industry itself. Even if you're not super into vampires, she also talks a lot about cyberpunk and Witcher-related news, and often dives deep into the lore and original materials these series are based on. So those are 10 great channels run by women that I wholeheartedly recommend. I hope you will check them all out. Also, if you have any channels that you enjoy and recommend, let me know in the comments so that I can discover some new ones as well. If you haven't seen it already, check out my first video on great YouTube channels run by women. I have a Patreon if you want to support what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.